an honest likeness of Honest Abe. But this drawing robot is doing a lot more than mechanical doodling. Its engineers are working to fundamentally change how robots interact with humans. And the future looks very different from the now. The classical view of what a robot is is often this large robot that's very monolithic. It does the same task over and over, and it does it with a great deal of power at its disposal, and it does it with incredible precision and accuracy. With support from the National Science Foundation, mechanical engineer Todd Murphy and a team at Northwestern University are helping a new generation of robots interface with the most unpredictable of partners, people. People have very strong opinions about what it is they want to do and how it is they want to do it. He says developing a drawing robot is useful in working out the skill set necessary to deal with human counterparts. It's all about adaptability and being open to all the different ways different people go about getting the same job done. One of the reasons that we started looking at drawing is that the same drawing can be created lots of different ways. And the order in which you do things can change, what you focus on can potentially change, and yet each one of them would be considered a drawing. Physical therapy is one area ripe for ramped up robotic human partnership and the Murphy team is putting some muscle into it. Grad student Katie Fitzsimons gave us a demo of this research robot. She's trying to balance a swinging pendulum at the top of an arc. No easy job. So they want to build sort of a smaller, more compact, and like cheaper version of this for rehab uses. The machine takes an active role in the task, guiding the operator through the correct motions while preventing movements that might cause further injury. The new mathematical approaches developed here anticipate all the physical and mental strategies people might use to carry out a task. And as a result, could lead to more capable physical therapy robots. I believe there's an optimum way to intervene that requires science. Murphy's collaborator, Jules DeWald, runs the Department of Physical Therapy at the Northwestern University Medical School. He's pioneered the use of robotics in stroke rehabilitation we'll sure and sees really promise in the new approaches. So does it mean we're going to heal everybody? No. Does it mean that we're going to do considerably better than we do right now? With folks that currently are having a useless arm, I'm quite convinced we can. All right, lift straight up. Considerably better sounds good to Ted Waltmeyer. Fast, all the way out, keep stretching. Keep who pushing. lost partial Push. function on his left side after a stroke. He's rehabbed on this robot in the DeWald lab, designed to improve his ability to reach. He's optimistic for the future. My goal has been to get my life back the way that it was before the stroke. I always wake up every morning thinking it might be the day that this is gonna happen, that more of my control is gonna come back. Same procedure. Reaching for new horizons with robots designed to work with us on our own terms, doing things our own way. You don't have to draw me a picture to get behind that. Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.